Alright, our next event is at the bakery for some reason. Let's go find out why. I have no idea what direction this will take. It's also kind of rough to talk hey. about or even think about losing one's mother, even if you don't have like a good connection with her. Hey, Granny Yuki. When Scarlet came back, you said something about a tragedy. What'd you mean? It was more than 30 years ago now, but Rickbird also once suffered during an... But Rickbird also once suffered during an epidemic. People were fa falling ill left and right. It was a frightening time, let me tell you. Um... Hey, uh, that epidemic wasn't caused by the Forma... Formido virus, was it? Oh Why, yes. My, yes. Yes, it was. I'm surprised you've heard of it. The Reaper's Plague. Terrible, terrible illness. Once you caught it, there was no hope for you. Yes, we would have been in grave danger if it weren't for Sanon's mother, Lucy and Julian's grandmother. She created medicine that could cure the illness and save the entire town. Why does Simon not know this? There's a cure? There was, I'm afraid. No one knows how to make it anymore. Oh, I see. First I've heard really? of that, Mom. Man, my grandma was amazing. Why didn't they write it down? But she prioritized her patients so much that in the end there just wasn't enough medicine left for her. <gasps> huh? The heck? Lucy, Rigbarth is still here today thanks to your grandmother's selfless bravery. We all appreciate the sacrifice she made for us. Oh, oh yeah? so that's how she died. Lucy, I'm sorry, I'm dear. Sorry. That must have been very dear hard for you to hear. No, it's okay. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Mom and Dad never told me any of that. I'm sure they still find it difficult to talk about. That really was a dark and terrible time for us all. Okay, well, what are the what, what's the ingredients? A cure does exist, but that means of making it or loss. I have to wonder if Simon could somehow recreate it. But the events related to that cure are so painful, she hasn't even told her own children about their grandmother. Maybe uh... I could ask someone else about it. Someone who's good at gathering info and willing to help. Terry? Sorry, I don't mean to be in here anymore. Goodbye. I should've looked at the map. <gasps> yes! Terry. Ah! No, please. Just let me go through these. We also have the Tricky Treats uh, event today we'll do later. I- <coughs> Excuse me. I made a uh, Pumpkin Flan of the Stars to hopefully win. We'll see. But first, let's focus on Scarlet's events. Hmm. What you doing, Terry? He's reading something? Is that a book on medicine? He's already on it? <clears throat> there are tons of other books on his desk. The History of Norad, Medical Journals, A Plant Encyclopedia, and a Natural Science Magazine? Hi. Ah, no. there you are, Alice. Come on in. Are you waiting for me? You sound like you knew I was coming. Of course he's already prepared. If I said I did, would you believe me? Coming from you, yeah. Thanks. You flatter me. But yeah, I figured you'd show up sooner or later. Then you know why I'm here? You want to find a cure for the Reaper's Place we've been across Norad, correct? Got it in one, which is actually a little scary. I just happen to have a knack for cob cobbling together rumors and whispers into a full story, that's all. If you already know why I'm here, then you realize what I want. Can you get that cure? Yeah, uh, that there is one of the reasons I never made it particularly... I've never made it particularly far as a detective. Long story short, no, I can't. Oh. You've heard the story about Simone's mom, yeah? She nope. didn't leave behind the recipe she used to create the cure, didn't have the luxury of time, really. And every batch she made was drained to the last drop. In other words, no samples of the cure exist anywhere. That sounds insane. She didn't write it down, she just made it. I, I don't believe that, she had to have write, written it down. Then what do we do? We gotta make it from scratch ourselves. The good news is that any if anyone in Nova can pull it off, Simone can. Sure, but that's such a painful part of her past, she doesn't talk about it. She never even told her kids about what happened. I can't see her offering to help us dig up her old trauma. <laughs> really? Oh, well. Do you think she's like that? Wow, you don't understand her as well as I thought. She's a physician who tests medications on herself before giving them to anybody else. All with the grand illusion of creating a cool cure-all elixir so that no one has ever has to worry about getting sick again. She's a mad doctor with a heart of gold. And now the virus that took her mom is about to take the mom of one of her friends. Do you really think she's going to sit this one out? But she already said that they all they can do is figure out how to spend their remaining time together. Whoa. I doubt she wants to get anyone's hopes up. Not yet. 
Besides, this is going to be one hell of an undertaking on a whole lot of levels. But knowing her, she's going to start making samples sooner or later. And we better be ready to give her a hand with that, don't you think? Is there huh? anything we can even do? Right? Can I do something, please? Yeah. I've already started poking around on my own, looking into old records, asking the elders in town, that sort of thing. The most promising lead I've turned up so far mentions two plants that supposedly have special medicinal properties. One is the bark of the moon tree, which you can find in the whispering wood. They're easy enough to spot, just go late at night and look for the glowing trees. The other is a Autol's Inn, Millennia, Millennia Mold, they call it. The longer the mold has spent growing in pitch darkness, absorbing the sinister magic of that place, the better. Oh. Just Count those two? You. I know I'm dumping the dangerous part onto you, but can you go get these ingredients? You bet, yes, leave it to me. Good, I will. Oh, and no, I'm sure yeah. I don't have to tell you this, but... Yes. Don't let let don't tell Letty, right. You got it. Giving her hope right now is not the best plan of action. Making the cure is going to be that difficult, huh? It's a gamble, but we'll still do everything we can to tip the scales in our favor. Simone will do her part. Let's focus on ours. Right. Okay. So, can I go to the Whispering Woods? It said a tall's in. I have to go at night. No, it says Whispering Woods at night, too. Okay, so I guess I'll do the contest. And then we'll, um... Our, we can go to all tall's in. I don't really know where that is on the map. Ah, oh, there we go. Is it just the first floor? Please tell me it's the first floor. This place is scary. Deeper in, at least. Aha! Literally just right here. Perfect. Excuse me. Where? Show me the mold. <laughs> mold, mold. Ah! The mold is so black, it feels like it's sucking me in. This has to be it. Ugh, and it stinks too. Better bring it back ASAP. Ugh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, doggos. Okay, and we can't go to the Whispering Wood till nighttime, so I think I will just go to the festival and wait for that to happen, and then we'll wait for, I don't know, nighttime, and we'll go to the Whispering Woods. Feeling well? Alright, let's enter the contest. Yes, I don't think I get it back because they eat it, right? <laughs> Looks like all the entries are, yeah. Julian's the um, the judge this year. Final entry: Alice's pumpkin plant of the stars. I'm the judge, Shay, and I'm loving this all-you-can-eat treat buffet. Haha. <laughs> hey, this is homemade. That's so cool. How did you do it? Huh? Did you put anything in I like in this? It'd be pretty great if you did. Just saying. Looks good to me. Can I start eating yet? All right, let's see how this tastes. Dang, this tastes great. Can I have some more? Hey, that's pumpkin. Wow, that's so. That's how you made it taste like this. Thanks for letting me try all the sweets you made. Don't worry, they were all great. It's gonna be hard for me to pick a winner. Okay, but who's the winner? We're just gonna fly through this. Beatrice got third. She was the pick to win. 465. You have my thanks. Priscilla, 524. Okay, but I, did I win? If I beat these two. It is! Pumpkin flan. Star. Pump, pumpkin. Pumpkin. What? Star of the flan. Flan, pumpkin, star, flan. <laughs> yes, we won. You won? Nice win! That was amazing! Congrats on the win! Cool, and I don't get it back. Oh no, I do get it back! Even though they ate it? Strange. Oh, right. This is the only contest I've won, like, twice. <laughs> I feel like. Flame Saber. It, it kinda sucks. Vegetable juice? On a Halloween? All right, I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna put some stuff up, and then we're gonna go wait until 6 p.m. All right, it's 6 p.m. We're going to with the Whispering Woods to find this glowing tree bark or whatever. <laughs> glowing trees. 
Good, it's just in the sparse area. Perfect. In the box? No. <laughs> glowing trees, glowing trees. Aha, here's one. I'll take just a little of this, thank you. All right, do we go back to Terry? I think so. Everyone's going home from the festival. <laughs> oh no, it's lagging. It's so bad. This is so bad. I don't even know if I need to be here. Come on, map. Alright, I do. I do need to be here. <laughs> I guess I could have just walked in to find out with how laggy it was being. Oh, see, still here. Good work, Alice. No surprises here. You work just as quickly as I had hoped. Let's get this over to Simone. Uh oh, see, so. Oh, a delivery? Hey. I'll take it for you. Nah, nope. not this time, Cecil, but thanks. Let's go, Alice. I've got some other stuff delivered, so I'll tag along. Ah, yes. okay. Aw, oh, Cecil's like, what? Hmm. <laughs> Something fishy is going on here. Is there, Cecil? Don't mind it. Does he follow us? He's gonna ruin it. He's gonna give, um, Letty hope. Are you sure we shouldn't is have told okay? Cecil? Give him oh, a secret well. to keep and he'll make sure everybody in the whole town knows he's got a secret. It wouldn't take long for Scarlet to learn everything. I guess that makes sense. It feels mean to leave him out, but I guess we don't have much choice. Okay. Oh, Good hi. Work today. <laughs> do I just go over? I do. Okay, we'll run over. Hi, I guys. Cecil and Terry. I don't know why they just teleport us over, like... We know Boy, where we're going. Tired. At least we get to see this nice moon. That's actually very pretty. Okay, I'll take it. Take the small things in life. Scenery is nice looking. Uh oh, Terry Lett is here. Yep, hmm. looks like we better come back another time. Ah! Partner? And oh? Terry, too. What brings you to the clinic? Ah. Um, we're just nope. dropping by to see Simone. Hmm? A walk-in visit for both of you? Yeah, uh, uh pretty much. She's kind of with me on this. Oh, Is that I so? See. Excuse um, me. Partner? If you don't have any pressing matters on your hands right now, could I please ask for some of your time? Huh? huh? Just a few minutes a is fine, but I really appreciate it if you came with me. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. This is important. Uh-oh. I see. Alright, so it's not if I, if I can force you. <gasps> Letty, I'm sorry. No, it's for you. She said just a few minutes. We could have came back. But I guess every second counts. I seem to recall telling you that you're the only one who can truly support her at this time. I'm, I'm sorry. Really sorry. Come on, don't be so hard on her. This is actually a critical discussion. Critical enough to give a grieving partner the cold shoulder? What in the world could possibly be more important than her right now? Right. If I said the cure, would that explain everything? Don't tell this me you're trying madness. to find it too. Aha, I knew you were already looking into it. Of course I am. But it was pointless. We never obtained the necessary ingredients. Wait On that front, I think we have you covered. Alice already went and got them. How do you know? I see you did your homework. So, think you can make something now? No. However. Why? Why not? Is it because but working that's... on the medicine brings up too many bad memories for you? I mean, we couldn't. T you couldn't even tell Lucy. It's not that. We just don't have the right ingredients, and we won't ever. Huh? But I thought these were the only two you need. Incorrect. They aren't enough. I poured over huge stacks of my mother's research notes, sketches, and even her diary. I know how to make the cure. But we need three ingredients. If we know that much, then all we have to do is acquire the third. That can't be impossible. Oh, but it is. Why is that? 
Yeah, why is it? Just tell us. Because of what the third ingredient is, we need a dis Discord apple. A Discord apple? What? Damn. What's that? Uh, what's what that? What is it? Some folks call it the devil's fruit. See, its seed extract is the critical and component in what's basically a love potion. Forget growing the thing. Seed will bring down its full weight on you like a hammer just for having one in your possession. Wow, that kind of seems like an overreaction. Hardly in all of the history of the world, nothing has made people lose their minds more than love. There's even historical pre precedent. Centuries ago, a woman doused the king of great eastern nation with a love potion made from it. Before long, the entire kingdom had fallen into ruin. Hence the name one apple can throw entire civilizations into discord. CYC gets a little heated when someone has one. Point taken. For better or for worse, my mother discovered that the discord apples extract had an exact or had an effect on the virus. She acquired one from the black market, and while she did complete the cure, she also became a wanted fugitive and hunted down hunted by the local militia. Is that so? A militia? Weren't there any rangers to resolve the situation peacefully? Right. At the time, seeds still didn't exist. Nevertheless, my mother completed the formula for the cure. She made just enough of it to cure those in town who'd fallen ill, and then she turned over the leftover ingredients to the militia. They accused her of possessing illegal substances, and she spent the rest of her life in a dungeon. I never told Lucy or Julian about their grandmother because I didn't want them to learn that she died a criminal. Bro! Well, Smart. damn, even I was really? aware of that part. That's because the rest of the town kept quiet about it. They didn't want her reputation to suffer. I also believe the militia staged their own cover-up. They couldn't bring themselves to openly condemn the woman who cured the whole town. So they buried her story and said it's as if she had never existed. I see. That would certainly explain things. In fact, quite a few of the puzzle pieces are coming together. You were right to say they collecting all the ingredients is pretty much impossible. Uh, huh. I would love to do something if only I could, but there's nothing to be done. After all, I'm certain Seed has whatever's left of the devil's fruit stored in their most secure vault. We aren't getting it out of there. Unless we do. Hmm. Their, mo their most secure vault, eh? It's Wait possible. No, it can't be that easy. What? Hmm? Oh, right. nothing. Just wondering where they're holding the ingredients your mother turned over. Sea became as big as it is today by absorbing all the local militias and town watches across the region. Which and thanks means... to that, the various seed branches still maintain quite a bit of independence. If that holds true for conf confiscated items, <gasps> then it's possible that the Discord apple seeds are right here in Rigbarth. Just hmm. a thought concerning the substance in question. I highly doubt that's actually the case. But it'd be worth confirming if it's true. That's... I won't disagree. If For the so. sake of argument, let's say they're still storing the seeds here. How do we get them out? You need one person who could get close enough to the vault without raising suspicion, and another person who could actually open it. Swiping the vault key itself is out. I bet my last room and your field captain keeps it close at hand. I can get to the safe without raising any eyebrows. That's a good start. Then we all we need is a person who can open the lock. I have someone in mind for that. <laughs> do you know? Butterfly. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's gonna be Riker! It's gonna be Riker. It all comes back, baby. Butterfly can open it, I think. In that case, I'll get my lab in order. You sure? Using co confiscated items to blow up, brew up medicine isn't exactly legal. Didn't you know? I take after my mother. The law takes a back seat to save me my patience. Guess the Discord apple doesn't fall fr far from the moon tree. You heard Simon, now it's up to you, Alice. Understood. Yes. Okay, what are we doing? Do I need to look at it first? <gasps> no, we're going straight to Riker. Get me out of this. Get me out of here. Butterfly. Butterfly, do you have a minute? Yo, what's what? with the doom and gloom phase? I'm not a free advice clinic, you know? Please. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm listening. You just steal something for me, Butterfly. I know you put that life Wait, in the man. past, but... You want to break into the silo's vault? Hey, not so loud. You're serious. <laughs> now this is going to be fun. Sure, I'm in. Are you, you sure you're ready to commit to this? Oh, shut it. You're doing it to help out Scarlet, right? As often as she harps on about the rules, this and the law, that, seeing her too depressed to get on my case is throwing me off my game. 
Come on, let's do this. The sooner the better. Thank Butterfly, you thanks. Even though he put this life behind him. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go. We're going through it now. Riker, come in here. <laughs> Where is the vault? In Livia's office? I was about to say, this place isn't that big. Partner. Um, um I excuse, excuse me. Uh oh, she's mad. She has a right to be, but we're doing it for her. You sure about this? If looks could kill, you'd be six feet under. Um, yeah, right now the vault comes first. Oh man, we're ruining our relationship to save her uh -huh. mother. Now here's a pairing you don't see every day. It hit me that yeah. there's a lot about this town I still don't know anything about, so I thought I'd take a tour of the silo, you know, for educational purposes. An admiral idea, but I don't think you'll find much here that's very entertaining or educational. Oh, yeah. well, I wouldn't say that. I'm really interested in the design of your on your vault. The yeah. vault? It's right over there. <laughs> so what's inside it? This and that, odds and ends, reports, records, unclaimed property. You wouldn't happen to have any seeds from a Discord apple in there, would you? Why would you just what? ask? Why would you... That's an oddly specific question to ask. Huh? Ah. I, uh... Ah. Say no more. Oh, Jeez, the two of you are so dill that I'm about to fall asleep on my feet. Yeah. I'm gonna take a nap. Don't you dare move even one step closer to that vault, understood? <laughs> I think everyone knows and everyone will help Scarlet. <laughs> she just goes to sleep. Well, fake sleep. Um, uh, what was that about? You dolt, she's turning a blind eye. Let's hurry up and do this. Sorry, butterfly, I'm dum dum. <laughs> Unlock design, they don't make them like this anymore. Can you open it? it? Ha, yeah. who do you think I am? Give me two seconds and. Done, <laughs> open. Okay, now where are they keeping the goods? Aha, this is this it? So this is the devil fruit. Okay, All we right. got what we came for. Let's get out of here. All right. Thank you, butterfly. Now then. Now to see how things turn out. Her feet are in the floor. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Do we just head back over? <laughs> Yikes! Oh crap! Whoa. Ah! He ran! Why are you running? Partner? Whatever you have there, return it to where it belongs immediately. What uh, what are you talking about? Don't no. play dumb, you can't fool me. I know you and Terry are up to something. Cecil confirmed as much. We were so careless that even Cecil found out? I didn't want to believe it was true, so I watched you to make sure. I never expected you to steal something from the silo's vault. I Whatever it is, return injustice. it. Now, don't make me round you up. Wait, there's a good <sighs> reason for this, just hear me out. <sighs> There's no excuse for stealing, but I'll listen to what you have to say. We're giving her that hope we didn't want to give her yet. I care for the Reaper's play? Be. Right! Yes. All we need is the Discord apple seed and Simon- Simone can make us a, a cure. Your mother doesn't have to die, you can save her. That's she can be saved? Yeah, you just have to let us keep one seed. Come on, Letty. No, I can't. No matter what the reason, a ranger should never turn a blind eye to wrongdoings. That is my ideal of justice and a code that I proudly inherited from my father. I will not break it now. Are you really going to stand back and let someone die when you can save them? That's not the Letty I know. That's... Well, I don't, but you... Before you became a ranger, first become a human. Didn't your father say that? Yes. But he also said that rangers must discipline themselves before they can discipline anybody else. Putting my personal needs above the law would set a poor example for the rest of the town. Nice. Uh, why can't you just understand that does it? I don't care what you say, I'm gonna see the cure get that cure gets made. You gonna fight me? No. no. If you want to throw your life away, you'll have to go through me. Bro, this is so dumb. <laughs> We're not gonna fight, stop. <sighs> I 
I surrender. I can never raise a hand against you, Letty. I'm sorry I had to end this way, partner. Me too, I'll hand over the Discord apple. Huh? What's the matter? The seed, it's gone. Riker took it from you. I, I thought he gave it to us, but he took it from us and ran. What do you mean it's gone? Don't tell me you dropped it. No, I don't think I... Oh. Maybe when Butterfly bumped into me as we were leaving the silo. He stole it right out of your hand? Probably. Ugh, I can't stand here doing nothing. I have to find him. Letty! Well, I mean, he probably went to the clinic, yeah? I'm glad we're seeing all these events after, like, the two days of not doing anything with her. Riker. Ah, 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 you're too late. I've already pounded the seed from the discard apple into a powder for the medicine. And once I've mixed it in with the other ingredients, there's no unmixing it. That's... Oh no. This is my fault. Everyone's breaking the law because of me. Incorrect. No, not at all. We did what we believed was the right thing. You had nothing to do with it. What she yeah. said, whatever punishment there is for doing this, we'll gladly accept it. Still. After your mother's been cured. But why would you go all go this for my sake? Come you have on. to ask? You dedicated yourself to keeping everyone in Brick Bar safe, missing sleep, skipping meals, giving up whatever it takes to protect us. For your whole life, you defended everything others hold dear. And now something important to you is in danger. Did you think we weren't ever going to pay it forward? You have your issues with our methods, I am sure. But could no. you maybe look the other way just this once? We promise we'll take whatever punishment comes our way. I'm sorry, everyone. I just don't know anymore. Oh, we gotta go comfort her this time for sure. Letty, what are you standing there for? Hurry after her. I made the cure, yes, but I won't use it without her consent. You're the only one who can convince her to use it. Go. Yes. Right, I'm on it. Where'd she go? Up there? Okay. Yeah, we'll chase after her. Oh, partner. What am well, I supposed to do? I... I'm truly grateful that everyone's willing to do this for me, and I do want to help Mother. But everything I believe in, all the lessons Father has taught me, something is screaming at me that this isn't right. Breaking the law is wrong, and so is allowing you to break it for me. <sighs> it doesn't help that when I went to visit Mother, they didn't ask for my aid. I'm not sure that betraying my convictions to make a cure for her would even mean anything. The people I love stained their hands for a solution that might not walk, that might, they might not welcome at all. The more I think, the more my thoughts go in circles. And the less clear everything becomes. What just, should I do? I'm just so confused. I don't know what's right. I don't know how to feel. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. What? Huh? I can't hmm. tell you what the right thing to do is either. Heck, I'm honestly not even sure how I feel about all this. I don't well... think anyone does. And that's why we get confused. Why we worry over things. Why we hurt. But we can't sit here and do nothing. The urge to do something pushes us to act, to grow, to move forward, even when we feel lost. Besides, you're upset that your family didn't ask for your help, right? I'm not sure that matters. Think about Terry, Simone, and Butterfly. Your family didn't ask for their help either, but they still gave it. Everyone's confused. Everyone's unsure. They think and they worry, and at the end of the day, they do what their heart tells them is best. The same goes for me. I know what we did wasn't exactly legal, but the one thing I couldn't do was nothing. After seeing how sad you looked, I just had to try and do something to fix the problem. Partner. Letty, what do you want to do? Well, well, I... I want to help her. They may not welcome it, they may not even outright refuse it, but I still want to do what I can to help Mother. Father's duties kept him away from home more often than not, so she was the one who actually raised me. And yet you still have this, like, disconnect with her that's so sad. She means so, so much to me. Let's go. go. We have to save your mother. I'm sure Simone can make the cure for her. Yes. Yeah. I think she already made it, yeah? Alright, looks like we have to wait? Okay, we'll wait. Oh, it's just right in the morning. Literally, immediately in the morning. Let's go see it. Done already? That didn't take you long. I'm impressed. 
<laughs> Alice and the others already acquired the ingredients for me. That ex expedited the process. Then you finished making really? the cure? Thanks for your help, yes. Now I can save Mother. I can never thank you enough. Don't worry about that part. Just hurry up and take this to your family. Huh? Yeah, we'll take care of things here while you're gone. I'll just make Alice do three times as much work. Uh, I'll do my best to hold down the fort. Thank you, my everyone. Apologies. And I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble. Trouble? What trouble? No one thought this was any trouble. Right. Exactly. Caring about how others, other people feel is a good thing, but you do have a habit of taking that too far. Yeah, you worry so much you act very, super reserved even around your own mother. Yeah? She did what now? You see? Uh-oh. Why does Simone have the Jeez. the bow? <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I can hardly believe you. What? What? It's because she was concerned for you. How could you not see that? I Huh? Huh? I agree with the Phil Captain. What do you mean? Your family only waited to tell you that she was sick because they knew you'd come visit them immediately. And if you did, there was a chance you might catch the Reaper's Plague from her. They didn't want her that. Is that the reason? Precisely, I suspect that only they only told you at the last minute because your mother couldn't bear to pass on without seeing you one last time. I'm a mother too, you know. I understand how she must have felt. But when I, I did visit, they didn't ask for my help at all. I was just there. Mother barely even talked to me. Because it would just lead to regrets, both for her and for you. They understood that if anyone asks you for help, that you do everything in your power to fulfill her request, and it, they knew it would be all in vain. In the end, it would leave you feeling as if you failed to save her. And for your mother, I'm sure a heartfelt goodbye would just make a parting all that much harder. That's amazing! She's a proud woman, I'm sure. And she loves you deeply. Oh, I'm not certain about that part. Sheesh, don't you have any faith in your kin? Think. You say you felt an unbridgeable gap between you and your mother. But a family with a rift that deep could never ra raise someone as a ex... Ex... I can't say that word. Virtuous as you. It's no accident that you grew into the upright citizen you are today. Your mother raised you that way. Yes, she raised you with kindness and care as if you were her own flesh and blood. It takes a lot of love to raise a stranger's child like that. Even more love than any ordinary mother feels for her daughter. The mother did love me. Yeah, and your good-hearted stepmother watched over you and made sure you grew up in peace. Oh, now I see you're right. She's loved me from the start. It was all me. I'm the one who built a wall between us. I put up a facade without even, without once considering how she really felt. I can't believe myself. All this time I never realized what my birth mother's words meant or how my stepmother truly felt about me. Save the remorse for happier days. Right now, you got work to do. Finish that first, then... Regret as much as you want, as deeply as you please. Right. Take care of your family. After that, you'll have plenty of time to make amends. Yeah. Oh, right, here. Take this with you. This a letter? Is... Yeah, to Seed HQ. I'm officially taking full responsibility for the items that went missing from our vault. I'm also recommending that they legalize the cure for the Reaper's Plague and begin distributing it to the affected areas immediately. Holy shit. Yes, the yes. so-called devil fruit is dangerous, but it can also save lives. Time to revise the old rules set down by old kings who made bad choices in their love lives. We need new, more flexible ideas to fit these modern times. I agree. Countless people put a lot of time and effort into upholding the law and other order we enjoy today, but that doesn't mean our system is perfect. Justice is ever evolving. Right. What we need now is someone to adapt or adapt to the ideals of yesterday's war-torn hearts for today's peaceful reality. Someone like you, Scarlet. I can create a new kind of justice? In any case, that's all just that's all just something for you to chew on later. Right now you must take that cure to your mother immediately, understood? Yes, yes field captain. Yeah, get going. Partner, please watch over things in my absence. Will do, do. do. Have a safe trip. Goodbye for now. And good luck. I hope Letty brings the cure to her mom and Ty and I hope it works. Hey now, no staring off into space like a bored woolly. You have three people's jobs to do until she gets back. Three? I'd appreciate it if you at least covered your own duties. Honestly. What? Are you two left to pick up a little slack? Enough. Off with you. Go out on patrol. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Bro. Do we have to wait now? I wonder how many days this will be. Okay, it's been quite a few days. I'm still waiting for Scarlet's event for her to come back. But we got the golden princely potato. 
Um, I had a request to grow and harvest a golden crop. I also harvested a, har a blue crystal flower, so let's turn those in while we're here. Wow, amazing, that's exactly what I saw before. You can grow anything. Let me give you one of Elja's special recipes as thanks. Thank you. Ultimate curry. We learned turn up heaven, and we learned royal curry. And then we turned in the blue crystal flower. You grew a blue crystal flower? Tell me everything you learned about it sometime, okay? Speaking of flowers, you can buy new seeds in the shops now. Aren't you excited to find out what they're selling? Is there anything... Oh. We've already... May have done this, but it might want me to do it again. I want you to ship a level 10 flower. You need quality materials to make a quality product. Now I want to forge a weapon with a level 10 flower. Growing one is easier said than done, of course. This actually takes a quiet... It takes a lot of work. But I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Just slowly raise level T, reach your goal. And don't forget that I want you to ship it, not just harvest it. You want me to do it again. I think we've already shipped a level 10 flower, but I guess I'll figure out what flower I have at 10 and do it. But yeah, look at our princely potatoes. Nice. Okay, I managed to find a flower that I had already grown, ready to be shipped. So you shipped a level 10 flower, I'll sell a smith and a weapon with that right away. I doubt that was easy, so I want you to have this. Hope it helps. Thank you. Nice. It was pretty easy. Harvest a green crystal flower, ugh. Somewhere out there is a super rare, super sparkly flower. It's so shiny I want to see it. I want to see it too. Do your best to grow one. Alright, we'll, we'll do our best to grow one, I'm sure. Oh shit, what's happening? I just woke up. Okay, off to give another day my best. Pardon me. <gasps> is that Letty? Yes? Why does she have the cat ears on? No, it's ruining it. No. Letty, when did you get back? Just now. And what about your mother? I hope she's okay. I actually came here this early because I wanted to, you to be the first to hear the news. Th though I realize that visiting you at this hour is quite inconsiderate. I apologize for that. I don't mind, but forget that. How's your mother? Thanks to everyone's generous effort, she is on the road to recovery. Then thank she's goodness. cured? Oh, thank goodness. You look so happy, you think it was your own parents we're talking about. Yeah. Well, yeah, your family's important to me. This is fantastic news. Thank you so much. Thanks. Still, mm -hmm. you seem awfully quiet about it. Aren't you glad she's getting better? Yes. Of course I am. I'm so happy I could skip across the entire town. It's just, it hadn't all quite sunk in yet. I feel like I've been walking on clouds. Is oh, so? okay, yeah, I can see that. Whew. It's still so hard to believe. When Mother woke up after we gave her the cure, the first thing she did was give me a hug. Her arms were so frail, but I felt a deep and powerful love in them. She cares so much, even though we're only related by marriage. Blood alone doesn't define your family. It's comprised of people who truly care about each other. True. Oh, come on, you're just now- you're just realizing that now? Huh? You and I have already proved that a hundred times over. We aren't related by blood, but we love each other more than anything. Partner. Yeah. Oh. Come on. <sighs> My sentiments exactly. Leave us be. <laughs> hey, could you two please knock before barging into a person's private space like that? Well, you don't really have a door. A little birdie told me that Scarlet was back in town. Birdie? Beatrice? So I thought I'd let the field captain know. And I was Honestly. starting to fossilize from sitting around and waiting for her to return. Me too, man. I'm so sorry. My apologies. Um, I just wanted to let Partner hear the news first. Partner. I'll deliver my report soon. Partner, would you please come along? You huh? need me there too? Yes, yes, there's something else I'd like to mention. Okay. Can she take all these stupid cat ears that I gave her long ago? Yeah. So first of all, let me offer my congratulations on your mother's recovery. Thank you, Phil Captain. You. I owe you and the town a great favor. Good, good. We'll let you get away with just owing us a big favor for the rest of your life. I will consider it. Right, mm -hmm. so your report? Yes, yes. ma'am. I delivered the letter you gave me to Seed HQ. And they approved production of the Formido Formido virus cure. However, oh, only licensed doctors gives, given special permission from Seed's top brass can make it. Then it's official. Seed has legalized a cure for the Reaper's Plague. Correct. Seeing all the effort we put into making it, my father started a petition 
to revise the classification of illegal substances. In the end, they changed the law. As a side note, the cure now has an official name. Suzanne's Serum. Suzanne. Suzanne, but that's... Yes, yes. Doctor. They named it after your mother. Unbelievable. Yes. At long last, she's received the honor she deserved. I'm glad to hear that Seed is a little more flexible than the rock-headed militias of yore. I mean, if they're saving people, that's their goal, right? And if this cure saves people, then yeah, use it. Thank you. I can finally tell my children about their grandmother with pride. <laughs> you didn't have to wait this long in the first place. They're your kids. I'm sure they understand the truth. I hope so. As a parent, it's easy to forget they aren't babies anymore. By the way, Scarlet, what's the punishment for those involved in this incident? Well, they decided to acquit, acquit any civilians involved of all responsibility. However, the doctor pay for our involvement. How much? Half for a year. Nah, tough but fair. No. Oh wait, I misspoke. Since a field captain bears extra responsibility, they'll dock your pay for two years. What? what? That's tyranny. That? Tyranny, I tell you. How can this... <laughs> Agro... I can't say that word. I'm sorry. Agro... Nope. Stan. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that was a big word for me. Alice, give me half of your salary. Uh, <laughs> so all that talk about accepting responsibility was just her trying to look cool? Of course it was. It's Livia. <laughs> So is that the conclusion? Where are we going? We're loading. It's so nice to enjoy the sunset with you again. Yeah, beautiful, huh? Yes, very, but it seems like a different kind of beauty to me this time. Is it because <laughs> I've changed since then? Or rather, since you changed me? Our stupid little cat ears. <laughs> Partner. Partner. Remember what you said before we were interrupted? That even though we aren't related by blood, we still love each other more than anything? I was really happy to hear that. <laughs> that was a pretty cheesy thing to say. Forget it. No. no, I will not. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to shout. <laughs> but still, I'll never forget what you said. It made me think about that maybe someday you could be part of our family, too. Wait, mm -hmm. what? Uh, nothing. I was just saying how happy I am to be here with right now, enjoying the sunset with you, that's all. Oh, Letty. It's me a witch. And that's the conclusion, because they talked about marriage. That was actually really good. It was a little frustrating, because there was a lot of days where there's nothing happened. You had to wait, like, two, and then you had to wait, like, four days. Oh my god, tomorrow is the White white Day Festival. I wonder if we can ask people out, but, um, yeah, Scarlet, I did like that one. It wasn't as exciting. What's happening? What's that? Do we have to see what's going on in town? What is that? Skirt! Um, I guess we'll come over, but yeah, I really like Scarlet's. It's not... It's not my favorite, but it's pretty good, because I feel that emotional connection of almost losing your mother, or, you know, losing your mother. So I'm glad Scarlet could save her own mother. What's, what's happening here? At the flower shop? Oh, Scarlet and Lumilla. Oh, what's, what's going on? Have I made myself Is clear, right? Lumilla? Preserving our town's dignity means acting in moderation. Ah, but no buts. We adults must we adults must serve as good role models for the children. Personally, I don't think everybody needs to be needs to be a perfect role model. Lumilla. Oh no, that's scary. Don't make me so mad. <laughs> what's going on here? Oh, cupcake. <laughs> Whoa! Rumilla, I just reprimanded you for this very behavior. Why are you clinging to partner? Because she's right here. Seriously, you expect me not to cuddle with her like this? Precisely for goodness sake, please try to have a modicum of dignity. And what's what? that? Oh, Honestly. for Partner, you tell her to. Um, I'm actually not sure what's going on. I warned her about performing public displays of affection for you that ignore time, place, and audience. But I haven't done anything wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. <laughs> there, see? Ugh. Still, you're often abrupt and passionate with your affection, which might startle some people. Oh, don't worry, I'll ever do it around you, Cupcake. And therein lies the problem. Hm. I don't think anyone's wrong here, honey. Why don't you just avoid doing that in public? Ooh la la, then I get to make up for it by being more affectionate when we're all alone, right? Yes, that's fine. Wait, what? It's sad we can't cuddle all the time, but absent makes the heart grow fonder. 
Is, is that, that true? true? Are you two in, are the two of you in a relationship? Oh god. Huh? Uh, not really, at least I didn't intend to be in one. Aw, oh, Cuphead, you're so mean. You just strung me along this whole time. It's so weird because I'm dating them both. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Letty is glaring daggers at me now. Just kidding. That is was that a joke. So? Take it easy on her, Letty. She meant no ill will. I understand that, however. <sighs> <sighs> Lumilla, if you simply refrain from overzealously embracing people in public, I have no further complaints. Really? You forgive me? You're not mad anymore? I was never angry in the first place. I only wanted to discuss the issue, hence my warning. Thanks. Thank you, Scarlet. Oh god, she hugging her now? I Why are you hugging me? Because I'm happy, of course. Thank you so much. I'm glad you two have sorted things out. Pardon. Partner, don't just stand there. Help me. <laughs> Wait, no, stop that already. All's well that ends well, not to make a hasty exit. <laughs> hey, look, they're getting along. <laughs> they're getting along. Alright, well... Like I said, that was <laughs> that was cute. And Scarlet, I do enjoy hers. Like I was saying earlier. Um, I guess tomorrow's the white Oh god. Oh no, stop. The White Day Festival. I'm probably gonna save and see if I can ask some people out. And if I can't, we're just gonna confess to our next person. 